What up, it's your boy Lil Scoop, Money Really Count, Urban America, right now checking in with Leak TV. Just, you know, being young, watching my mom, older cousins and stuff like that, um, just falling in love with clothing lines, music, just business, anything, make a profit, made me really want to be an entrepreneur. Right now, I have my VIP lounge still. It's my bar and grill, which I actually ran out to different um, bar and grill companies right now. I have a business in there called Cezanne. It's like a Panamanian bar and grill in uh, urban America, which we do embroidery. Uh, we do video sets, and we have three record studios. That's about it right now. Then still got my hands you know, in the mix with doing concerts. We got Boosie and Webby coming up. Just did Money Bag, Money Bag Yo. And uh, got plenty more coming, but that's about it right now. The first thing I ever did was a, a yard sale. When I was like 13 years old, um, I found some people that was throwing some stuff away, like old guitars, couches, furniture, and stuff like that. So I dug it out the trash can, I set up a table, got me one of them poster boards for Family Dollar, wrote yard sale on there. And I had my first yard sale, maybe about $35, but <laughs> it was like a good profit to really be that young and know I really did it on my own. So I, you know, I felt like an entrepreneur right there starting off. So that was really the beginning of it all, really. Mostly real estate. Like she uh she started doing real estate probably about ten years ago and she just basically taught me a lot of a lot of uh, you know like the ins and outs of real estate, kinda how to negotiate contracts and just a bunch of stuff that I learned uh, that I didn't have to go to school for or take any classes. I kinda learned hands on, you know, through her really learning about mistakes just like anything else like making a lot of bad investments early on just not really understanding what I was getting myself into like I said a lot of people just be quick just to invest the money just because it's an investment so that was really one of the things just not knowing what I was getting into you know a lot of my first deals first properties and stuff like that I mean, recently, like the COVID, cause like I said, I got a bar and grill. So they kind of like, we couldn't even open up or, you know, had to stay at a capacity for a certain amount of time. So like the, the COVID recently, but um, other than that, like just typical stuff, like even being a, a entrepreneur, like in the city and having a business, sometimes you have to deal with like personal hate and sometimes that might reflect on your business and stuff like that. Like a lot of times you see people saying stuff like nobody supports my business. So a lot of time I try to invest my money into stuff that I don't have to worry about people, you know, supporting that business. As long as the business is doing good itself, I don't gotta put my face on it. So that's really like what I learned along the process is just not putting my face on everything, you feel me? Cause some people won't spend money with your business just cause they don't like you personally. So, you know, definitely that's always like been one of the biggest things. Honestly, like my, my movies, like I didn't really get the, the, you know, the big check I was looking to get for it. I didn't get the, the biggest, buzz off of it like i didn't get famous off of it or i didn't get rich but i was able to actually be able to do it put it out and you know people actually got to see it so like i said i got two films out right now on youtube two sides first tuesday and like i said it kind of you know when i did the film it kind of felt bigger than you know putting out a music video or a mixtape or anything like that like i said the first film got about a half a million views, you 
feel me? And you know, movies usually get more views than a rap video. So it was like when I dropped those movies, I'm like, dang, I, I really did, <laughs> if anything. So yo, know, if anything. I got a couple scripts written out right now. Um, I said we're supposed to be filming here in like July, but it might not be until like September. Uh, Cause like I said, I have some acting classes going on. I have an instructor that's actually gonna teach like a small class of like 30 people. So it's like my future films, I'm gonna try to offer acting classes to like the you know, the, the local actors is looking to at least get some kind of start in the field. So I said, not only the movies, we're definitely trying to offer acting classes here at Urban America. And like I said, just get these next scripts rolling, but it definitely be a new movie coming real, real soon, Urban America, come watch it. This is basically giving back to where you came from. Cause like I said, I, I, everything I've, I've done, you know, here business wise, concerts, mixtapes, it's always been somebody from Indianapolis that supported me. I might not get the most support that I need, but majority of my support comes from Indianapolis. So I definitely like to give back whenever it is. Plus, kind of feels good, you feel me too, at the same time, so, yo, that's it for me, just, like I said, giving back to where I came from, and just em embracing the feeling of seeing other people smile. Some things might not work, you feel me, as quick as you want it to, like, you know, I might have like a three month plan to open up a business, but <laughs> it might be six or seven months in and it still ain't happened yet. Some people just just lose confidence, like, God, oh, it's taking too long. Or, you know, or, or even when you do get a business up and running, you know, your first year might not be as good. You know, you just got to stay dedicated. If it's, you know, something you know you really, really genuinely want to do, so. Just never lose faith in yourself. Feel me? Stay confident. Try to stay on your goals. Mind your business, I guess. Cause like I said, I kind of inspire myself and when I try to get too in the mix of what anybody else is doing or trying to look at anybody as competitors or anything like that, it, it kind of feel me, throw me off, so. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Ultimately, be able to have some access for my kids when it's all said and done. Really, that's, that's the main goal. I think that everyone's trying to do, like try to acquire enough property, commercial houses, whatever it is, so your kids won't have to struggle as hard as, you know, the next or like we did for the most part. So. You know, leaving access for the kids. It originally standing for Meat Road Click. That's when uh, me and Kano and a couple of our other buddies, we were just like a, a rap group for the most part. So MRC used to always be Meat Road Click. And then when we tried to start like an actual label entertainment company, we ran with money really counts because we didn't want to be like meat road click records or nothing like that. So we just tried to go with something, you know, with the same MRC and we came up with money really counts. It sounded good, it stuck and you know we made it happen. <laughs> um, for me it kind of worked hand in hand. Like I said, I was a uh, artist first and I had a lot of you know close relationship with bigger artists and once I seen it was an opportunity to bring them here to the city and I could make a, a profit like it just made sense to me it was just a, a, a another business move you know in a sense so that was pretty much it like I said just being a music artist just you know went hand in hand with bringing, you know, artists here to do concerts.
I've lived in a lot of other cities and it's the same thing. Like if you ever watch, um, you know, any of like the, the Say Cheese interviews or Off the Porch, anything like that, every artist, it, it'd be an artist from a city that you never even heard of and they definitely gonna say, oh, it's not no unity where I'm from, everybody hating on each other. I think it's pretty much the, the same everywhere and then every you know every, every city definitely have their circles of people who you know rock with each other support each other labels and stuff like that but a lot of times like the street politics pour over into it so a lot of times some some people aren't able to come together like honestly just you know you never know some people history but i think if it's you know, no violence or nothing like that ever involved. I'm always willing to work with anybody. Like, my phone's always open. You know, I never turn nobody down, so. Mm -hmm. and some people be scared to, you know, to talk to bigger artists or even try to link up with them because some people got this theory that, hey, if I hit him up, he ain't gonna respond or write back or, want to do a feature like I'm a part like long as you pull up on me or whatever we can make it happen like I said I ain't too hard to get in touch with so I'm all about networking and working with everybody around my city definitely the upcoming artists and local clothing friends <laughs> social media mostly Instagram at Lil Scooby MRC our Instagram is at Urban America, America with the K. It's Urban America Official um, on Instagram. It's Urban America Official at gmail.com. Um, Facebook, Blue Scooty, Facebook, Urban America.